Christmas layoff and TFL action returns to TIO Stadium this weekend. And while all clubs will be looking for the win, it will be an extra special clash for Darwin coach Mark Motlop. It's been a long time in the NTFL for Mark Motlop, but 23 years on, this line about playing in the big game still makes sense. Fear you shaken, you sweat, probably down the middle of your back, in between your legs, your heart's in your mouth and you, you know you can't stop feeling the things. And this weekend is certainly one of those matchups. His 350th game as a coach, a credit to what he's done for the sport. But you don't really come into the game thinking about milestones and you know achievements. Um, I think it's just about putting back into the game. That's that's basically what I've done. You know, played played a lot of footy and now, now it's time to give back. Another milestone, whether it be good or bad, will be Gunny lines up against his son and Wanderer skipper Aaron for the first time and he knows that that will be a big challenge. He's got plenty of tricks up his sleeve, um, you know, and he's a player who's very, very hard to contain. I've seen uh, players try to run with him and, and uh, I think they just know that he wears number four or they can count a number of springs on his boots. So. While Aaron has a little game plan of his own to avoid some fatherly advice. Yeah, I'm being a bit careful. I can't be on that coach's side but we're over too much because <laughs> might get a few choice words maybe. <laughs> Either way this game is set up to be a beauty and even since his playing days Motlock knows the key to victory. Discipline and desperation makes up for 20 other players. Meanwhile the Saints have received a nice Are you an idiot or what? With NT Thunder captain Cam Islet making his first <laughs>